united in Christ, and we are out here to show the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who they are according to the Bible. We have been scattered out through slavery because we transgressed God's laws. And now it's time for us to come back and repent, keep the commandments and the faith of uh, the Most High Son, Jesus the Christ. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. The Bible said thou art an holy people. It's talking to every black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman out here. Right. The Most High God said you are a holy people. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. So the Most High God chose you out of 18 nations he created to be his peculiar people. That's but why is it that we are at the bottom of the day? Why is it that we don't believe in marriage? We don't believe in raising our kids? Why is it that we eat unclean foods? Why is it that we don't know these things, Read Unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So it said we above all people on the face of the earth. But why is it that we don't know this knowledge though? Why is it that we call each other niggas? Why is it that we call each other Hispanics, Latinos? Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox know of his owner. So it say the ox. The ox is one of the dumbest animals on this earth. It say the ox know his owner. Read. And the ass his master's crib. And the jackass or the donkey, he know where his master crib at. Read. But Israel, but Israel, remember, that's God's chosen people. That's you, Reed. Do not know. We don't know. Why is it that we don't know? Give me a uh, 046. Why is it that we don't know? Why is it that out of all the people on the face of the earth, we don't know who we are? Yeah. The Chinese man know who he belong to. The Arab man know who he belong to. The white man know what nation he come from. But Israel don't know. Let's see why, Reed. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are what? Destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He said my people, the Israelites, God's chosen people, we destroy because we lack knowledge. We destroy because we broke God's law. That's what got us in this state we in today right now. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also shall I also reject thee. So it said because we rejected knowledge, Malachi 2 said. It said because we rejected knowledge, the Most High has rejected us. I'm finna show y'all the knowledge that we reject on a daily basis, the reason why we going further and further in the ground as a nation of people. That's right. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It said the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. And I'm, I'm going to ask y'all something. I bet y'all didn't know that we are the priests. We supposed to be the priests. On this, on this uh, earth right now. We supposed to be the one establishing God's laws. When everybody see us, they supposed to look at us like, man, them folks know what to do. Them folks got some wisdom. Let me go to them and find out what I need to do. But we ain't no priest. We done fell from our state. Read that again. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. So it, the, so the knowledge that we lack and the knowledge uh, that, that we uh, keep casting away is the laws of God. That's right. That's what we got to understand. The reason why we are cast away as a people because we reject the laws of God. Give me uh, Exodus 19. We're supposed to be the priest that everybody come to. When people see Deuteronomy 4 and 6. When people see us, they supposed, to, they supposed to see wisdom. They ain't supposed to see hoes. They ain't supposed to see niggas. They ain't supposed to see pimps. They supposed to see a royal priesthood. Read. That's right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them but this is the wisdom and your understanding. So these laws of God that we lack, that's the wisdom and understanding uh, that we're supposed to have. We're supposed to walk in all the ways of the Most High God. His laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. In the sight of the nations. In the sight of the nations. Where every other nation see us, they supposed to see a royal priesthood. They ain't supposed to see no Crips, Bloods, GDs, Masons, Eastern Stars, or that, whatever you want to call it. Baptists, Muslim, Catholics. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is the wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Which shall hear all these statues and shall and, and say, Surely this is a great nation. So when they see us, they supposed to say, by us keeping the laws of God, when they see us, they supposed to be this, they supposed to say this is a great nation. When every other nation see us, matter of fact, they actually know we the great nation. They ain't confused. They know we God's chosen people. Right. We the one don't know we God's chosen people. That's right. Read what you got. Surely this
this great nation is a wise and understanding people. That's how everybody supposed to view us. That's how we supposed to view each other. That's how everybody supposed to view us. And another reason why we destroyed too. This is something I, I, I most definitely want to point out. What is what, what ambassador? Is. This pastor right here is not Jesus the Christ. Right. This is not Jesus the Christ. This is Caesar Borgia. This is the devil that the Bible speak of. Yeah. We finna reveal to y'all the true image of Christ. And you gonna be surprised, hey brother, don't you know Christ looks just like you? Now, give me that, uh, Revelation 1 and 14. Before, watch this. This is not Jesus the Christ. When we start teaching our kids the true image of Christ, they won't be killing one another. Hey. There won't be no more baby mamas and baby daddies. We are under each other. Read what you got. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revelation of Jesus Christ right here. Now I'm going to ask everybody that's listening and, and is watching, do this look like Jesus the Christ or this man right here? Is this a better depiction of Jesus the Christ? Read what you got. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot. So you see the, the uh, seven candlesticks behind him. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said Jesus the Christ head and hairs were white like wool. Now why do you see white woolly hair on this bastard right here? On this false image right here? I ain't no white woolly hair on that man. He don't look nothing like the biblical uh, description of Jesus the Christ. Read what you got. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it said his hair was white, uh, white, white, white and woolly as white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. He said Jesus Christ's feet was like unto fine brass. No word on this picture right here that they, when you Google, this pop up, or the pictures in the church or in the school that they teach our children. No word on it, man, do he look like burnt brass or fine brass. No word on it. That's the reason why we destroy it too. Because we sit up here teaching our kids that the, uh, our Lord and Savior, the greatest man that walked this earth, was a white man. Bring it out. That's a lie. That is a lie. We have been deceived. Oh. Yeah. As if they burned in a furnace, and his voice is the sound of many waters. I right, uh, give me Deuteronomy 28, uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. So we gonna, what we gonna do, we finna get ready to show y'all that this Bible is your history book. This ain't no fairy tale. It ain't no story. This our history book written by our ancestors, and we finna prove it. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Mo Moses spake unto all Israel. He spoke to who? All Israel. Spoke to who? All Israel. So this book right here is dedicated to the Israelites. That's, That's the only right. people Moses was dealing with. That's the only people God was dealing with. So why is it that they tell you that this Bible is for everybody? God love the world. He love everybody. Why did he choose one nation of people? Hispanic man, black man. Why did he choose one nation of people? Uh, yeah, give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses speaking to the children of Israel, he said, look, if you will listen to the voice of God and do what? Voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. So he said if the black and Hispanic man observed to do all these commandments that the Most High God have gave us this day, read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He said he was going to set you on high. Black man, black, uh, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. He said the Most High God was going to set you on high if you kept his commandments, read. Above all nations. Above who? Above all nations. Above who? Above all nations. Above all nations. The Most High God said he was going to set us above all nations if we kept his commandments. Read what you got. Of the earth. Uh-huh. Now jump down to verse 15. But, all right, so, if, if the Most High God said he was going to set us on high above all nations if we kept his commandments. Now let's see the flip side of the story. Because it's always the second part that our people don't like to acknowledge. But we finna read it. Read what you got. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it says it's going to come to pass if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Let's see what's going to happen, read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So it said if you do not.
not do all these commandments and statues that I command you this day. Let's see what's gonna happen. That all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it said all these curses gonna come upon you and overtake you. Let's get some of these curses and we gonna see if they fit us or any other nation on this earth. Remember God said if you kept his commandments, he was gonna set you on high. But we ain't on high. We spend all our money with every other nation. We wanna be like every other nation. All our styles, we get them from every other nation. Read what you got. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So it said we was gonna be cursed in the city. We look around right now in the city. Walgreens, Cash America Pond, and it's probably like, I'm standing on one corner and I see five hair stoves. Five hair stoves on one corner. Five. Bring it up. And guess what? All that hair we buy, don't look like the natural hurt that God gave us. Yeah. They let you know we hate ourselves. We'll yeah. sit up there and spend 15, 20 dollars. A woman sit up there and spend 15, 20 dollars, get some hair, to come all the way down to her feet. Then as soon as the sun hit it, smell like somebody got a tie at the corner. Man. I'm telling you, it's, it's disgusting. Know? That we curse in the city. Read what you got. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall you be in the field. If you want to go to the rural areas, you're going to be cursed there too. If you think you're finna go out there and build a house with a white picket fence, guess what? Your neighbor's gonna despise you out there too. That's right. The same thing, just like in the cotton fields, the rice plantations. Who you think, all this stuff y'all look at, all this material we got. Who you think out there on uh, uh, hands and feet picking this stuff? You go to West Africa right now, some of our people still in the uh, the cocoa fields. That, uh, all that Hershey's chocolate and all that, that's our people picking it. Verse 17. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So it said curse gonna be your basket and your store, black man and black basket woman. Our store. That means anytime we try to sit up there and save some money for any cause, uh, but we ain't gonna be able to do it. Our basket gonna be cursed. Yeah, I said we go grocery shopping right now. We still ain't gonna have enough once we leave out. Yeah, you know I said give me heck, I want to see. Every time we try to put our hands together and do something, it never, it never succeed. That's because we ain't applying the laws of God with that plan. That's the reason why we don't succeed when it comes to opening businesses, running our own businesses, building our own communities, because we ain't applying the laws of God. Read. The book of Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6. Ye have so much and bring in little. So it say we so much and bring in little. That means what? We're going to work from sun up to sun down 12 hours a day. Some brothers work 15, 16 hours a day, seven days a week. We so much but bring in little. We still don't have enough on our check. We'll make $1,500 and they're going to tax us for 600 Read what you got. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Like I said, you get the food stamps, you, you ball out for a couple weeks. But towards the end of the month, that last week, you still ain't got nothing. Now you still got to borrow money from your mama, your cousin, your brother to feed your five, six children. Our basket and our store is being cursed because we are breaking God's laws. We got to ask ourselves, what are we doing wrong that we got to go to Cash America Pond and pawn in that TV that our auntie and uncle bought us? What are we doing, what are we doing wrong that we got to take all our jewelry to the other nations just to get some money? Bring it out. That's, that's what you call cursed. Read what you got. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe, ye clothe you, but there is none warm. So it's like we're going to clothe, but ain't going to be none warm. That means you ain't going to have enough clothes. Just like now, you got families that got to keep passing their clothes down from family to family to family. And ain't nothing wrong with that. That's, how it, that's what you got to do. But why we don't never sit up there and ask, each, ask ourselves, why is it that we got to suffer these things? What are we doing wrong against our God? Why did the Most High God put us in this state? That question should be in every black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman mind every day. Why? But I'm going to show you why, Reed. And and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to be put into a bag with holes. He say you earn wages to be put in a bag with holes. That means everything you make, guess what? It's like you put it in a pocket that got holes in it. We can't wait to spend it. That's right. Our basket and our store being cursed because we transgress God. Go back to where you was. Give me a verse 46. 46. That's the reason why we ain't prosperous. Because we ain't, uh, hey, give me that. I don't think Joshua 1 8. That's the reason why we ain't prospering, because we do not keep God's laws. That's the reason why our basket and store curse. Read what you got. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. 
This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So it said, this book of the law, this holy Bible, shall not depart from our mouth. Every conversation we have need to be in the laws of God and how we can better ourselves by applying it. Read what you got. But thou, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. He said we need to meditate in this. That's what we need to do. We need to cut all that TV off, all this uh music that uh that's made to destroy us and aim at ourselves. Cut all that junk off and do what? Meditate there, therein day and night. We need to meditate in this Bible. That's what we need to do. We need to go in this Bible and find out what we did wrong and get it right with the Most High and apply His laws, statutes, and commandments through the faith of His Son, Jesus the Christ. That's, That's what we need to be doing. Read what you got. That thou mayest observe to do, a do, to do according to all that is written therein. But, but then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous. So it said once we come back to this Bible and uh, meditate in it day and night, that's when we gonna prosper. I don't care how much money uh, we put together, I don't care how many guns we get, we ain't gonna fight our way out of this physically. I don't care what you do. If you ain't applying the laws of God, it's the Bible say it's not gonna prosper. That's right. This the only way we gonna prosper. Ain't no motivational speaker gonna get us out of our situation. Ain't no TD Jakes, none of them. Ain't none of them gonna come get us out of our situation. The laws of God is what's gonna get us out of our situation. Go uh, to Deuteronomy 28, 46. <clears throat> so that's what we gotta understand. As a people, we've been destroyed because we uh, le have left God's law, statutes, and commandments to serve Him with joyfulness and gladness. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So it said, they, they is these curses. These curses that we read when Moses was speaking to the children of Israel, he was letting them know, look, not only is these curses going to affect you, but it's going to do what? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. So it said these curses gonna be upon upon your seed forever. Read it one more Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So it said these curses gonna be upon thee for a sign. Just like now. We know we're at the corner of what Bellevue and, and Mclemore right now because of the sign. You know that's a uh, that place right there sell chicken because it says church is chicken. So it said these curses are gonna let you know where you are today. And we and everything we read, we can look at it right now. Cursed in the city, cursed in the uh, field, we can look at it. I'm gonna show you something else we can look at. Go to uh, uh give me uh, read it again, read it. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So it said they're gonna be upon us for a sign and a wonder. Like I said, once again, every black man and Hispanic man should be wondering why they are in the state they in. Why are we so comfortable? We don't even want to be it. We don't even want to find out what we did wrong so we can make it right. Everybody out here should be wondering, man, why, why I can't uh, get my bills paid on time? You know what I'm saying? Why, uh, why I can't afford to get my kids no, uh, no new clothes, no new, no new shoes? Why, why, why am I in the state that I'm in? That's what we need to be wondering, Reed. And upon thy seed forever. And upon your seed forever. And that's the reason why we still in the state that uh, we are in today. Hey. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So one of the curses was we was going to be bringing into Egypt again. Now Egypt is not talking about the land mass in North Africa over there. That's called Egypt, but Egypt actually has a definition. So when, we, when you hear Egypt right here, it's synonymous for this right here. I'm going to show you what the Bible called Egypt. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So he said he brought us out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Bondage is another word for slavery. So when you're in Egypt, it's also pertaining to slavery. And let's read that verse again in its context. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said the Lord going to bring us into Egypt again. Remember, Egypt means bondage. So it said he gonna bring us in the bondage again, read. With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. Now how do we get over here to America? Hey sister, hey brother. Hey, sister, brother, how you doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Can I ask y'all a question right quick? Sure, you can ask. Alright. How, how did the how did the so-called black man get to America, to the Western uh, uh America? 
ship, what? ship. Uh, by, no, no bitch, I'm good. You said, you said by what, brother? By ship. We're gonna put you on camera, you don't wanna be on camera. Yeah, I don't wanna be on camera. Okay, you, you said uh, by ships, right? Read, did, did you know that was in the Bible? Did you know that was prophecy? No, I didn't know. That, that the black man was gonna go into slavery on ship. We finna read it for you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now you hear that, brother? I hear it. We said, you know what Egypt mean? Egypt mean bondage. It said we're going to be brought uh, into Egypt again with what? With ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Hey, bro, have we, have we been back to where we came from since we was brought over here, brother? Have we been back to our homeland since we was brought over here? Have we? Yeah, as a people, have we been back to where we come from? Not that I know of. Yeah, we've been right here since we got here, right? Read that again. Hey, listen, listen closely, bro. This is coming out the Holy Bible. Read. With ships, by the way whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. So it said when, you, when we got there, for one, we ain't going home. For two, we're going to be sold to our enemies. Read. For bond men, for what? For bond men, for slave men, read. And bond women, and slave women, and no man shall buy you. Mm. How many nations can 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 take can uh, uh bear witness to that? Can the Chinese man say he was uh taken in into Egypt or, or slavery with ships? Can the white man say he was taken into slavery with ships? Or the Arab man? No. Only the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans can say they went from one side of the earth to another. That's right. On ships and became slaves. We the only ones that bear witness to this Bible. That's the re reason why we can read out of this book and we can look around and see the very things that we read although this was written thousands of years ago. Yeah, read what you got. So that, that's the reason why we know this our book. That's the reason why we know we transgress God and we gotta get it right, read what you got. The book of Romans chapter eight and verse 16. The spirit itself Bear witness with our spirit. So it said the spirit itself. The spirit is this word right here. Get that too. The spirit is this word right here. When you hear the spirit, it say the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. So when we read these words right here, it let us know who we are. It let us know that this is our book. It let us know we the people of this Bible that transgressed God time after time. And he put us into slavery because of what we did. That's read what right. you got. Yeah, we do. The book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickened it, and the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they so are it said, life. Hold on, read that again. Read that again. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. So Christ said these words that he speak are spirit. So when it say the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, we understand that that spirit is the word of God. When we read these words right here, we can look, we can look around and see that, hey, hey, we fit that. Hey, we was taken into slavery on ships. We were sold unto another people. Give me that verse 4 there. Give me that verse 4 there. We were sold to another people. We was forced to be slaves and work for free. Uh, I'm saying our children were taken from us and we couldn't do nothing about it. And that still happened today. Remember he said it's going to be upon your seed forever. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So it's like when you got out them ships, you was going to serve your enemy, which the Lord have sent against you. So if you ever wonder why, out of all the people on the earth, the white man knew to come get us. And where to find us at? Let's see who sent them, read. And hunger, and it, th therefore shall thou... Shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee? So it said the Lord was going to send the so-called Caucasian or white man to get you from West Africa and bring you over here to be slaves. That was of God. That's the reason why we are over here. That's the reason why they knew to come get us. Read what you got. And hunger. And hunger, you're going to serve them. When you want some church's chicken, when you want some, um, whatever, McDonald's, Red Lobster, whatever people eat, Dixie Queen, if that's a store, save a lot. Grocery store, anywhere you go. A lot of people, our people, they got their own businesses now. Mostly just barbecue shacks and stuff like that. But we, our people love to eat that undefiled, I mean that defiled uh, swine. But when you, work, guess, what, guess who you got to go to to get your meat, your plates, your napkins, everything you got to open your business. Guess who you got to go to? Waterfall from the sky freely every, every day. But you got to pay for it. You got to pay a water bill. You got to buy a bottle, a bottle of the sunny water. Water now. Water. Uh, 
in thirst and in nakedness. So and it's so okay, so it's saying thirst. So it's saying, oh, give me that limitation. So it's that like you gonna serve your uh, enemy for water, for thirst, for anything, for your ENJ, your power, your whatever liquor people drink, your uh, your your pop, whatever you gonna serve your enemy for. Read, read what you got. Limitations, chapter five and verse four. We have drunken our water for money. So it's like we drink our water for money. That's our payment. And, and, and back in the day, that's all we got. When, I, when we was in slavery, all we, we drunk our water for money. That's, that's what they paid us with at the end of the day. And they only gave you that water so you had just enough energy to work another 12 hours uh, when you wake up in the morning. You drunk your own water for money, black man. Read what you got. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. And our own wood, all these trees, every, everywhere we go, this is supposed to be ours. The scriptures say where we where we sold our foot uh, land, that's what that's supposed to be ours. Just like our native uh, so-called Native American brothers, the tribe of Gad, they they own water and wood is sold to them. Stop all these lumber yards, uh, lumber yards you look around and see, this is on the Native American soil. But they gotta buy it to build a house. They gotta buy their own wood. They get paid with their own water. Shalom, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.